Welcome Power Ranger fans to my review of the final Power Ranger toy to be released during the original toy line from MMPR. These figures were the figure in this case was the final figure to be released way after the movie to way after the, the the movie toys and after the Mega Zords and all of that. These were the final ones to be released before Zio kick in. So they are kind of nowhere. They're very in some cases they're kind of rare because they were the final figures to be released. So nobody picked them up. They basically skipped to Zio or basic or something like that. But they're still still in the history of MAPR. And you will notice. It's just a little bit different. I'm reviewing a bo a, a mint and box toy, so this is gonna be a first some a first some mines. So give me some general some little bit excuse because I'm not gonna open this guy because for those who know eBay auctions and such of which this particular figure in box it's the it's the most expensive and rare of the all the in the show of the name of the special edition automorphing rangers this is the rare the rarest of them of them all i luckily have one don't ask the price because if i say you're gonna drop that seriously this guy these guys can be what wor worth on ebay at least for about a hundred or eighty yeah i saw even a guy a couple of days ago to selling this thing for 200 200 bucks that's kind of nuts for me i have one i bought this guy for okay i got this guy cheap basically to say the least i got this guy for the price of a, a figure of a power ranger samurai or mega force figure yeah, that cheap. Uh, for the same price for the Mega Force or the Samurai figures from now. Get, get over it, seriously. I, I was lucky to get them. Now, to show the package, just since I have the package, on this side it has real automorphing. Because I have, this is Billy. It works as Mighty Morphing. The, lo the guys on the front, Special Edition, Automorphing White Ranger. Or choking choke hazards, Bandai, the Ace, the, the item number, the Saban logo over there. Oh, this is a European version, so it has the Spanish, the Spanish language, so kind of normal. Genuine Bandai Power Rangers, made in China, like all toys. And the back, it has the extractions for basically what happens in the show. Let me. Let me try to read them. If you want, just pause them, pause the thing, or skip it. It's morphing time. Morph your favorite team into a in Power Ranger by pushing down quickly on the Power mo Morpher belt buckler. Kind of big word. So, <laughs> to change back into a teenager, rotate the helmet back and down until the teenage head is on top, and the chest and back panels are closed. Now you're ready to morph again. Collect them all. Yes, because you see, they're five. They're five. One thing, uh, this package has something really stupid for me. Even though this is the say special edition automorph Power Rangers, these are the there's, these guys are not the the automorphing. It's these guys, the movie ones. Because there's no there's no grooves for the automorph the automorph gimmick, so these are these picture all here is for the movie ones, not the not the automorphing. So don't be fooled by this picture, well, soccer. So sorry, and look for the other morph morphinomical toys. Really, morph morphinomical, not morphinomical, morphinomental toys. Seriously. Which are basically the, the toys, the bad guys toys, which I do want, I want to have, I'm tr searching for the, re what name is he, I don't re remember this guy's, this guy's name, I know it's Rita's brother, and also this guy did appear on the show for a little bit, but I don't re 
remember and I don't remember I don't remember this guy on the show but the other ones don't see more uh, trademark things so separately bend by safety and blah 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 the same old bowling thing now let me show the toy oh, yes. to get a general idea of what what this stone is it's basically this guy the original to, uh, more automotion white ranger and the movie white ranger oops sorry uh, let me let me remove this because I don't need a chest plate for this part. It's basically these two figures combined, basically like a fusion, hello, Dragon Ball, to make this guy because it is the same uh, standard uh, figure with the same articulation, chest plate, and weapon. Basically like this guy with the same. Chrome scheme from the from the movie version because if you look at the box, the original movie has the the chrome from the knees, from the ankles up, to his entire body and the helmet, and this and this one has the exact same thing, chrome on the legs. Let me show on this side, chrome on from the legs to the top, from the arms, and also. I don't, I don't, I, I can't show off the camera, but the neck is also a little bit chrome, so it has a little more chrome on this, than the, this guy over here, and the Sabas, and the normal Saba sword, so it's not much different, um, and also the, before this, I, I never did this guy, these things when I was younger, this is basically, if I can read this thing off, alright, for, I think someone have like a to if you mail these these little coupons basically to uh, inform Bandai of your opinion of these some toys or some other company's toys you have to mail mail in this and the these guys mine doesn't say that on the sticker but some American versions do say even the over here I can I was trying to read them it says here's how to get how to get your two bucks mail in rebate basically if you ship if the original you have to ship these things you will get about two bucks worth of the toy so it's kind of nice idea kind of nice idea to get something in return for buying the toy mail these things you got some little refund from buying them no, this this is very fast review because I don't have the the other ones. They're you know, very rare, very expensive sometimes. So, final thoughts. Do I recommend this? Not particularly, unless you do like but uh, and particularly do like the automorphing originals and the Chrome from the movie. You should get these guys only if you like these two and. Younger said, "Oh, maybe I should get this guy. Oh, but I like this guy because it's Chrome. Hey, how about you get you get both together and have one of these? It's, it's basically that's it. You f they fuse them together and make this thing. So kind of kind of difficult. The only thing my complaint is they, ne they never did a Green Ranger with metallic paint. It would look so cool with green metallic paint, but." Still, still not very, very nice. That's better than nothing. And also, don't get this guy on mint and box. It's very expensive, so try to get them loose. So he's with the sword and the shield. So better than nothing around here. So, so guys, hope you guys liked my review. See you guys next time, same time, same channel.